And here we go. Game one. Best of five grand finals in the Rivals Olympics. Let's go. Victor bringing <laughs> Fishboy Solomon. Sestik bring Oksana Nod. Let's go. New objective received. And here we go. Game one in this best of five series. We've seen a, a fair balance of Nod and, and, and GDI. I think we've seen a little bit more Nod than GDI, but that's to be that, that's pretty common. Uh, there's a, I think there's a little bit more uh, Nod players, at least at the higher end of, of Tiberium playing playing Nod. Uh, but we have seen a lot of GDI. The only GDI that we've seen basically has been Jackson and Strongarm. Victor is the only player that has brought Solomon to this tournament. Victor is quite good with Solomon. He hasn't landed any like fantastic, amazing ion cannons, but he has ion cannon basically every game. And let's see what's going on. Missile is about 60% charged, getting close to the contention point. Venoms and laser drones being attacked uh, by these missile squads, this pit bull, and soon to be this talent. Pit bull rotates bottom. Talon goes top. Bikes go bottom. Three on the pad for uh, Victor. Venom does not go to top. Even if it did, Talon would have quickly taken that out. That's a missile number one for Victor in game one of the Best of Five series. What does Sestik need to do here? Sestik needs Sestik needs to probably be careful of an ion cannon and also protect the scorpion tank. If this Orca connects with the Scorpion Tank, it's going to be a lot of lost value. Scorpion Tank probably needs to just weave in and out attacking Pit Bulls. While Phantom for the Orca! Orca doesn't connect with the Scorpion Tank. And this Laser Troop and this Phantom might be able to take out double Talons. Both Talons go down. Harvester wasn't harvesting for a little bit, but not not the end of the world. JJ in response for the Scorpion Tank. Pitbull goes top for Victor. JJ about to kill, uh, kill that Scorpion Tank. It goes down. Two Venoms and a Phantom. That's not going to win you a missile. Another Scorpion Tank in response to the Pitbulls. Missile is about 60% charge, 65% charge. Ion Cannon for the Scorpion Tank. Does not connect. It does kill a Laser Squad, though. Boosted Scorpion Tank will be able to take out these Pit Bulls. Venoms on Missile Squads. Laser Drone might go top, potentially. Venom is not attacking the Missile Squad. A little bit of a mistake there from Sasti. Probably is going to lose the missile there. Mi missile because of that. Boosted Venom. Desperation. Trying to delay the missile. This missile is probably going to go to Victor. Another Ion Cannon just for safe measure. Takes out the Scorpion Tank. Venom goes onto the pad anyway. This missile is still going. This missile is still going. Sastic might take it. Venom going top. Gonna kill the JJ. Venom gonna kill the JJ. This people, this people needs to go top. Sastic gonna take this missile. Sastic takes the missile. Blocks the talent up top. Wow. A little bit of a little, little bit of a throw here by both players. Both players making a few mistakes. Maybe a little bit nervous. Maybe a little bit of lag, I don't know. But we are still in this game. One one missile for both players. And we have one harvester about to go down. It does go down. Sasti gets some Tiberium. I mean I mean Victor gets some Tiberium for killing Sastic's harvester. That will be enough Tiberium probably to launch another ion cannon. Will Victor do it prematurely? Will he do it at all? We'll have to see. He has plenty to do another Ion Cannon. Missile is 50% charge. This will be the final missile of the game. Phantom going top, holding the pad, moving down, rotating down. Pipple pushes it back. Pipple gonna take out the Venom. Tank gonna take out these... Pipple! It does. Victor has three of the pads! Victor has three of the pads! Ion Cannon for the Venom! Takes it! Victor takes it! Game one goes to Victor Bensimir! 
All right. It's a best of five series. Sestik has lost game one. Sestik picks the next map. Close game, close game. Salamo Kanan, fish boy. <laughs> Oh, I'm pooped, boys. Been casting nonstop for four, four point two five hours. Laggy victory win. Lag victory victor wins. Yeah, Victor was say, uh, also complaining a little bit about lag earlier. Lagger relations. Let's see what the next map is. Sestik says second. All right. Sestik says a second. He's thinking about the next map. Either way, either way, whoever wins this, or, or whoever wins or loses this is going to be taking home a lot of money. $50 minimum, $70 for the winner. It's a hundred, um, $120 worth of money total on this series right here. Here in Brazil, lag is hard, dude. Yeah. I, 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 I mean, I'm not in Brazil, and I, I've had lag basically my whole life. Recently, I upgraded my internet, and it's still not perfect. All right, Sestik says hot zone. Hot zone, hot zone. We're going on. I like hot zone. Hot zone's a fun map. I like it. Hot zone, hot zone. Where are you at? Hot zone. Game has been hosted. Check Discord for the room code, boys. Sestik and Victor. Victor plays on 2G internet. 0.5G. Dial up. <laughs> 1G. <laughs> Is Victor that good? He plays on 0.5G like a boss. <laughs> oh, man. Game has been hosted. Check for the room code. Uh, thank, thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, it's been it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of work on my part, but uh, for the most part, I I am happy. I'm happy that I finally did this tournament. Thank you so much for uh, everyone coming out. Thank you so much for the participants for playing. We've had some great games. We've had some great games, and we're and and there's still great there's great players that uh that weren't able to play today. Sim Killer had to drop out. Bike Rush was busy. Blade was busy, and uh, and we had we we've still had a lot of great games. So thank you everyone for for playing, for watching, and here we go, game two, game two in this best of five series on Hot Zone. Victor Betsimir versus Sasti Brazil versus Russia. Let's go! Sestik has lost game one, so he has selected Hot Zone as the game two map. Victor has switched commanders from Solomon to Strongarm. Strongarm is quite good on maps like this. You can put the turret like right here in front of both of these turrets, and so the turret can get maximal uh, damage output for any sort of incoming units coming towards the pads. Which is quite good. Uh, Sestik is playing Dr. Liang, so won't be able to do any sort of turret action. But, uh, that, I mean, uh, said, which, which is interesting. Sestik is the one that, that picked this map. So even though Sestik has picked the map, Victor has picked a, has, has picked a decent commander for the map. So, uh, not, we're, we're also seeing great strategic deck selection on top of 
of uh, micro plays and stuff like that, which is great. That's part of what this tournament is about. It's not just about who can micro the best. All right. So, first missile about to go down. It's close to being contested. And there's that turret that I was talking about. It's a great place to put that turret. And it's now being contested. Healing drone going to be taken out by that pitbull, though. Dogs might be taken out by the tank, but maybe not in time. This tank is not going to be able to kill three dogs in time. It doesn't. First missile goes to Victor. And the turret expires right on time as the missile fires. That is the power of strong arm on this map. That's the power of strong arm. That turret is quite good, especially in the beginning of the game. Especially gets infantry, also attacks air. What does Sestik do here? He's down a missile on the map that he selected. He's weaving in and out, taking out dogs. This is not what you want to do with a predator tank. You want to be killing out high priority targets like pit bulls. Look at this predator tank. This predator tank is going all the way back to try to protect his harvester. He was close to Victor's harvester. Has to retreat back. Now being retreat. Now, now he has to go back. Now where is he going? Okay, sniper team gonna kill these JJs. Next missile, 60% charge. 62% charge. 65% charge. Getting close to being contested. And the sniper positioning is blocking the turret. Excellent play by Sistique, blocking where where Victor wanted to place that turret. This missile will probably go to Sestique here. Dogs getting taken out by the missile squad and the tank. This missile goes to Sestique. It's a one-on-one -on -one game. That sniper position blocking the turret. Excellent play there. Sniper having two range. That's a great place to put the sniper. And it's killing JJ's left and right. Really, really what Victor needs to do is he needs to transition into Orcas. He does so exactly as I say that. And JJ, Victor takes out the Harvester. In the back, he sneaks a JJ, takes out one of Sistique's Harvesters. Slingshot though. Slingshot takes out two, three Orcas. Slingshot takes three Orcas out. That is a huge value slingshot. Wow, that's a lot of Tiberium down the drain. It doesn't matter though. Victor has a ton of Tiberium. He has cheap units. He doesn't have Solomon Cannon. This Harvester is dangling with one HP. Is that Tanker Missile Squad gonna finally take it out? Missile Squad gonna finish it off. Now Sestik has some income. Now, speaking of income, he has 500 Tiberium. He's not rebuilding his Harvester. Either is Victor. Victor has 300 Tiberium. This is 50% charge. Now being charged more further. This sniper in position to block any turrets. Spamming dogs. This dog spam is not going to... I don't know. It's just delaying the inedible. Victor needs to switch into higher expensive units, maybe. I don't know. Three dogs on the top pad, man. It's going to take a while to take out. There's the orca. Will it connect with the tank? It uh, gets a connection, but the healing drone's gonna f heal it up. It's gonna you're gonna need three orca volleys to kill this tank because of the healing drone. Double slingshot, top and bottom. This orca is not gonna be able to connect. Next missile about to fire. Orca is not able to get to the tank. Missile being contested. This slingshot is quite low. Wow! Wow, the orca doesn't connect. The dogs might kill the slingshot, though. Orca goes down again to double slingshot. JJ's! JJ's on the pad, though! This missile is still being contested. This missile being still being contested. I think it's going to go to Sestique, though. Both players have not been harvesting Tiberium for at least a minute. This is almost a five-minute game. Dogs are just about dead. And this should be the end of the match here. And that missile finally fires. Five minute game. Goes to Sistique. Woo! These, these players are going hard. <laughs> Sistique takes game two. Ties it up. One to one. Victor, tell me on Discord what the next map will be. Guys are seeing some great games here. Ion Cannon might have won that that missile, that's right, but he was playing Strong Arm, which helped him get the first missile. But Sestik was playing quite well and positioned his snipers where he wanted to place the Strong Arm turret, and he couldn't budge the snipers out of position. 
So he kept having to turn it in, an, in a non-optimal position, kind of negating the uh, commander's choice selection. Keep in mind that Sestik actually selected Hot Zone as the map, so probably had that in mind all along. What's the, net, what's the next, uh, next map Victor, Victor's typing? Victor selects Open Water! Open Water will be Game 3! Game 3 will be Open Water! Alright, so, so far the series, the best of five series, is tied one to one. We have one player in the game. Hopefully you guys are all enjoying the games. Seen some great games, guys. We're in the grand finals here. Best of five grand finals. And here we go. Game three on open water. Victor versus Sestik. Victor just lost game two on hot zone. Selects open water to be game the map for game three. Victor switches into Oksana. Will he bring what he's known for? Sestik brings Dr. Liang GDI. Building online. Unit ready. All right, both players opening up with similar units, dogs and uh, and wheels, cyber wheels. Unit ready. And bikes and pit bulls coming out as well. Kind of a little bit of a dance off. Missile is not being charged right now. Another another pit bull. Pit bull does not get us. Does not get a shot off on the bike. It gets a shot off on the wheel. Bike takes a free shot from the pit bull. And Victor switches into double laser troops. Laser troops are going to do well against dogs and pit bulls. So smart, smart job switching into laser troops. But Sestik has sniper squads. As we've seen last game, he has sniper squads in his deck. And those are going to take out the laser troops pretty quickly. One laser troop goes down. Another, another laser troop goes down. Now Victor's down to one laser troop. Two pitbulls still up. Pitbull uh, takes out the wheels. These pitbulls are low. Healing drone comes out to heal them up. And first Inferno comes out of, uh, out of Victor. Three pads, though, in control from Sasti. That's, this is going to be a pretty solid, convincing missile from Sestik. Sestik takes the first missile. Boosted Inferno. Going after the Sniper Squad. Goodbye, Sniper Squad. And now we have two missile squads on the Predator tank. Not going to... And the Harvester is moving out of range. Oh my god, he brings the Harvester back too early! The Predator tank still gets that last shot off. Premature bringing back with the Harvester, not what Victor wanted. Says Deke now has extra economy to build a Hammerhead, which is going to shut down this Inferno from getting near his Predator tanks. Although it's taking a lot of damage from these Missile Squads, needs to heal up from the Healing Drone before engaging the Inferno again. As Snake now, Inferno still alive, Hammerhead does go down! But the extra economy from killing the Harvester, he's able to rebuild a Hammerhead. Here comes the next missile. Nothing's on the pad for Sestik. Two out of the three pads for Victor. Victor takes a missile. One on one in this game for missiles. Close game, close game. Another Hammerhead for this Inferno. It's gonna connect one shot. Doesn't fully take it out. He can't push forward because S tanks are there. This Predator tank is gonna go down. Wow! Right, that would have been a double shot from the uh, Inferno or, or the S tank killed off the pit bull first though. Hammerhead trying to, there's another Inferno though. Is it gonna die? He, I think he killed his own S tank there. Did I miss that? 
All right, Hammerhead trying to push forward. Este doesn't quite kill the Hammerhead. Healing drone almost off cooldown. He may just need to rebuild another Hammerhead. He does. Missile half charge. Close game. Este going forward, sneaking up. Two S tanks top, covering top and bottom. Inferno staying still. He need, this missile is about to fire though. You're gonna have to push forward one any day now. And gets the sniper squad. Missile squad's gonna run over the middle. Don't walk on the fire, Victor. His own fire kills his missile squad. Three, three uh, pads for Sastik. That's gonna be a missile for Sastik. Sastik takes game number three. 2-1 for Sestik. GG. All right, so far Sestik is leading the best of five series, two to one. If Sestik is able to seal the deal and win one more game, he will be the winner of Rivals Olympic, the Rivals Olympics tournament. If uh, Victor really needs to, to win this next game, Victor is typing. Victor selects random to be the next map. Interesting. This might be a strategic choice from uh, from Victor here. He actually is the second player in the tournament to select random. We won't know what we're playing on. Game has been hosted. Check Discord for the room code. So far, it's two to one in this best of five series. All right, we got one player in the game. We got both players in the game. And here we go. Establishing Sastik versus Victor Bansamir. This is match point in the grand finals for Sastik in Rivals Olympics. Victor needs to win this to go into a game to the next game. Three. And we got tie pulls as the random map. Victor selected random. Building online. And honestly, I think he might he might have uh, lucked out and got the better uh, selection maybe for uh, for this map. Victor playing Nod once again. Sestik playing Dr. Liang GDI once again. And um, both players uh, opening up with uh, dogs, militants, and scavengers. Kind of dancing around. Sestik goes straight into snipers. Wants to hunt down that scavenger. Wants to hunt down these militants. Gets a shot off the militants. Dogs pushing forward. Doesn't want to give the scavengers money. Being cautious. Dogs pushing forward, blocking the rifle squad from the sniper. Sastik builds a predator tank. Goes north. Is he going to go for the harv? I think he's pushing forward. He might have to push back. Victor already has Inferno one minute into the game. That's a shot on the Inferno. Healing drone instantly pops up. He's going to need another shot. Maybe even three shots if the healing drone stays on the predator tank. Potentially a third shot. He needs a third shot. Healing drone healed it enough. Healing drone is keeping this predator tank in the game. But sniper does go down to the inferno. And phantom going to hold the top pad. Will the pitbull be able to take out this phantom in time? Inferno also rotating up, uh, rotating up top. Will Victor block the sniper? Doesn't even need to block. Sniper doesn't even try to get to the pad. Victor takes the first missile. Predator tank going north. Victor's harvester going south, having to run away. Inferno shoots the sniper squad instead of the pit bull runs back. Probably the best decision. Snipers are very annoying for scavengers. He needs to collect extra Tiberium, especially since he had to rotate his harvester all the way south because of the predator tank. Sestik, what does Sestik do here? Does he tech switch into a different building? Does he keep building pit bulls? He goes into a different building, gets a hammerhead. 
Hammerhead looking for that Inferno. Not going to be able to get in there. Double Scavengers shoo the Hammerhead back. Scavenger moving forward, shooing it back as well. Inferno, this Inferno has taken zero damage. Excellent weaving in and out between the Scavengers. Hammerhead already half HP, not able to connect with his Inferno. Getting extra Tiberium from the Scavenger with the dogs there. Tech switches into Borka. First Borka of the game from Sistique. Kills both Scavengers. Missile, about 40% charged. And another Hammerhead. Phantom takes out the Borka. Boosted Phantom. Probably to go on the Hammerhead. Inferno's rotating south. Hammerhead. Inferno goes down. Another Phantom. Double Phantom gonna take out this Hammerhead. Scavenger versus Pitbull interaction. Inferno fires on the Harvester. Probably should have fired on the Pitbull or the Predator tank. This will be a close missile because he did that. Another Inferno. Both players on one Harvester still. And fa both Phantoms are... No, one Phantom goes down. Boosted Inferno going up north. Hammerhead goes to the bottom pad, being attacked by the Scavenger. Sniper on one HP, not attacking the Scavenger here, attacking the Harvester. Here comes the next missile, it's in contention mode. Will, will the Inferno fire? Gets a shot off, gets Tiberium. Scavenger gets onto the pad. This Hammerhead's about to die. This Scavenger, you need, this Scavenger's about to die to the Sniper. Missile still being contested, Phantom sneaks onto the pad, and that's gonna be long enough for the missile. Victor takes it! Ties up the series! Two to two! We're going into a game five! Victor takes it! We're going to the game five, boys! Boys and, and two girls. Sastique picks the final map. This will be the final game! in the Rivals Olympics Tournament, hosted and casted by yours truly, Nukin, and uh, sponsored, Price Pool has been uh, generously sponsored by two handsome gentlemen, Pradeep and Flintstock. Thank you so much uh, to those, those freaking slutty dudes. <laughs> Flintstock even played in the tournament, got into the quarterfinals himself. I wish Pradeep was able to play. I think he's asleep now. He's been working some night shifts. Oh, you still in the chat? You still awake, Pradeep? He might he might have uh, fallen asleep, dude. He's been working night shifts. All right, let's see what the next the last map is. Sistique, tell me on Discord what the last map is. Pretty good, man. I like it. Ho hopefully, uh... Yeah, I think I think that's gonna work quite well, uh, Crazy P. Uh, Sestik, oh! The last map will be open water! The last map of the tournament will be open water. 2,500 bits from Brody! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my yelling. <laughs> He's awake, ladies and gentlemen. That's good. You're about to see the last game. You're welcome. You're welcome. I can lower the volume a bit. Test, 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 test. I lowered it a tad. All right, here we go. Final match. Man, I would be so, so, my arms would be shaking. I would be making micro mistakes. So far, we've been seeing pretty good, darn good micro. Anyone can take this. It's tied, it's tied up two to two. Both players have beaten each other twice. But any play, this could be any player's game. Sastik has one on open water though. Sestik has, has won on open water against uh, Victor's uh, Inferno Nod once. Can he do it again? Can he do it again? We got one player in the game. Uh, if anyone else, if anyone else wants to stream after this, I am freaking pooped. 
So go stream and I'll raid you afterwards. Cause I am so done. I don't even think I did my bounties. Whatever. Okay, both players are in the game. Let's go! Oops. And... Let's go! It's final it's match in the grand finals! This is literally the match to win it all. For first place, taking home... First place will be taking home $70. Second place will be taking home $50. The objective. Both players, regardless win or lose, are winners in my book. Victor chooses Solomon GDI Sistik brings Jackson. All right, open water. This is a, a uh, going to be a GDI versus GDI Grand Finals. Victor bringing Solomon. I, maybe he's expecting some fortress style uh, decks. Wants to ion cannon that that stuff. And now we have the snipers. The double dog sniper opener is quite good against the, the barracks opener. Victor needs to tech switch into either air or vehicles. Probably air. Gets pit bulls for the dogs. Missile is about 60% charge. 65% charge, 70% almost, it's close to contention mode. It's in contention mode. Missile is about to fire. Naders attacking rifle squads and the Talons attacking the Naders. Gonna be taken out by this Talon maybe. Does not quite take it, the rifle will finish it off. Pitbull sneaks onto the pad. Three, four, Victor on the pad. That's a first missile for Victor. Victor is in a great position to take this game. Sestik needs to come back here. Otherwise, Sestik will lose this game. He's down one missile. What does Sestik do here? He has tech switched into all three of his buildings. I don't think we've seen any air yet come out of Sestik. Naders are quite good against against uh, pit bulls. This Nader brings that pit bull to uh, about. Okay, this pit bull is dead. Finish being finished off by a very injured Nader on the middle pad. Triple Talon. This slingshot's gonna go ham. Boosted slingshot. Ion cannon though. Gonna connect with the sniper squad and the slingshot that was boosted. That momentum might be what Victor needs. Another slingshot. Will he be able to take out the Talons in time? Double rifles chasing over this, these naders. There's nothing really for these naders to attack. Next missile's about to fire. Victor's on two of the pads. Is he gonna get on a third pad? Slingshot killing the Talon. Sneaks a drone swarm. Pitbulls take it out. This is about to fire. It's so close. Boosted drone swarm. Just to contest the pad. Victor takes the second missile. Victor is your champion. First place and wins a series in the Grand Finals in the Rivals Olympics. Victor Bansamir. GG. Woo. I am the king of salmon. Salmon. Fish. Very, very good games played by Sistik, uh, hailing from Russia. Very good games. Sistik was able to take out Alicia Destiny in the semifinals, mid to the finals. Got very close, got to match point against Victor. Wasn't able to seal the deal. Victor does. Wow. What a series. What a tournament. Wow. Woo. And now uh, I can go to sleep. Bye. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Woo! I'm not even playing and I'm sweating my butt off. <laughs>